Welcome to another work at the audio commentary. Today we're going to be watching a wonderful best of three for MKL season two. And we're going to have a wonderful co-caster today. My co-caster named a mage from the FML. Hello. Hello there, Pierby. You sound an awful lot like a vampire when you do that. Well, I've been working on it. <laughs> I approve. Magadansky's a vampire himself, so, you know, maybe you guys should start talking oh, together. He God. can give you his lessons. Uh, I I was kidding about, about, about that. I don't... <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry, was that a secret? <clears throat> yeah. That was a secret. You've ruined it. <laughs> so there we go. We are exactly <laughs> 10 seconds into the replay. I've completely derailed it. I'm Great. very happy to be here, Pierby. <laughs> well, thank you. If you haven't seen Mage's stuff before, you should definitely check out his YouTube channel at youtube.com slash FFA Masters. That's correct. Nope, just uh, FFA Masters. So it's youtube.com slash FFA Masters. And the and Twitch. the Twitch is twitch.tv slash FFA Masters League. See, I get him confused. It's my fault, though. I'm not smart enough to... Well, once you go ahead and subscribe to them, you go ahead and get those notifications so you no longer need to know what it is. Exactly, and that's what I did, so that's what you too should do, kids. And for the low price of nineteen ninety nine over the course of three payments in four months, you too can have this beautiful voice that Pureby has. It's been wonderful. <laughs> okay, so do you want to go ahead and give our players a little bit of an introduction here? Let's introduce them. We're going to start with the red undead on the left, uh, and I'll introduce him, and then we'll get you introducing the green on the right. Sound good? Uh, you can go ahead and introduce them both, because I don't actually wow. have names over them. So. Oh, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> on the left side of this map that I can't quite remember the name of it, because it's it's the nice map that has this wonderful tavern in the middle that's all it's, serene, uh, but... Uh, that's Ancient just Girls or something like that. Oh, no, that's right. It's Wise Girl. It's Wise Girl. Wise Girl. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, weird fucking Asian. No, sh no, no, no. Look at this. This is why. Wonderful Asian. Well, actually, I can't show you my screen, but there's a little... The, the author is Wise Girl. Uh, so, wow, we've we got to introduce him. Uh, on the left side, we have the red undead. His name is WFZ spawning in. Woo, he's a great player. One of the best undeads in the world currently. And on the right side, we have the green human spawning in. It is Captain. He's a really good human player. Uh, we are kind of late on that introduction, so that's why we sped it. But look, look <laughs> at this. We have a harass. We already have some interaction. Wow, great. So there we go. We've covered enough uh, actual action for the next couple minutes, right? Yeah, I think I think we're ready to start selling that product we were talking about. Awesome. Uh, so why don't you go? What series is this from? Is this from MKL? MKL. And this is season two. Uh, season one just finished recently. Um, and this has the new maps that are the Chinese awesome metagame maps that are really cool. And I think the next map in the series is Hidden Hope, which is my really cool favorite one that I think you're going to really enjoy. Well, I look forward to seeing it and. Most of your viewers probably actually do have some background on it, but uh, who won the last season of MKL, or have you not covered that yet? Um, we covered it, but I'll be honest, it was all in Chinese, and I don't know who technically won the finals. We did a whole bunch of best of five, so we, were, we covered the finals. I just don't know what order they were, or technically who won. Um. <laughs> But, but I know we had some really good games, uh, some really good players, and actually the MKL is currently my favorite league that's going on right now. Uh, not only because of the map pool. Oh, <laughs> look, my favorite solo league that's going on right now. It's, it's, very, it's very good. There you go. Good recovery. <laughs> Skeleton down. Had to, had to call it. Yep. Uh, and we could see that the Death Knight solidly at zero experience gained so far. Yeah, not, not a lot. Compared to the Archmage, sitting at 85, rolling in the dough. Yeah, that Archmage is going to be level 2 soon, and after level 2 comes level 6, and then it's going to be just game over right there. If it gets level 6, then it has uh, level 3 water elemental, which is very powerful. And it has uh, mass teleportation, which he can just go ahead and mass TP all over unless the map. Unless he I think went that's really useful. Unless he went level 1 Blizzard. Eh? Okay. Mm, I think he could still get it then. Well, you know, maybe. But if you had level two brilliant sword and level three water elemental and level one on the on the nice, you know, blizzard, then then he couldn't. So so checkmate. Uh, but you forgot about the special MKL rule, which what? is that when you hit level six on your hero, you actually what? gain another ability. Then I don't. Is that true? That's not true. You're making... He is making stuff up. Don't listen to him. He's I'm a liar. I'm actually the head admin of MKL, so you'd do well to respect me. He, he is... Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Wow. Uh, but yeah, so we can see that we've got the Mountain King coming out soon, so that's exciting. That is exciting. 
We haven't actually looked, uh, but Lich and Tech, or not Tech, Lich and Slaughterhouse for the Undead. So uh, let's go ahead and get a few predictions here from you. What are you thinking that the build for Captain is going to be? Well, it looks a lot like Rifle Caster to me, and seeing as we have two Arcane Sanctums on the way down with an Archmage Blacksmith out in the forward, Rifle's coming out, and a Mountain King. I'm going to say it's probably Rifle Caster. Just, yeah, that sounds like it's uh, pretty viable. I'm going to go for the not often used strategy of he's actually just going Footman and Spellbreaker, and the Blacksmith is purely decorative. Oh, for upgrades, you mean? No, decorative. No, just decorative? He's just making the base pretty. Oh, okay. I mean... Mm. Mm. This is a pretty reasonably looking uh, blacksmith. It's in a good spot, too. I mean, if, if I was going for feng shui, I'd give him a 10. The real question is, if you were on the market for this base, would the blacksmith add value to it? Ooh, I think I would probably be willing to pay at least upwards of $200 for this base without the blacksmith. But when you add the blacksmith in, when you have to consider, too, not only not only are you buying the retail value of the blacksmith, which is pretty reasonably priced, I think at about $30 to $40, depending on how used it is. Uh, but in this case, given really the positioning of it and just the wonderful paint job, 70 bucks extra, at least. So, well worth it for Captain. He's made another wise decision in the game of Warcraft Decorator. On Wise Girl. On Wise Girl. There we go. So, uh, does look like we got a little bit of action going on now, though. You know, there is some action going on. Uh, it looks it looks to me, if I had to make the call here, that uh, WFZ is just not... He doesn't really care much about the rest of this game. I think he's looking to end this game very quickly. So... Uh, which is not something I think you tend to do, but he is, he is getting burrow. He is going to tech, tech, to tech to tier three words, uh, but uh, <laughs> he, he wants to take the fight before that Mountain King levels up, I think. Yeah, which seems a little bit uh, like it could be a little dangerous having two level one heroes right now. Uh, not entirely sure how I feel about that. And the fact that Captain has gotten his sorceresses out. I think that's really going to be a pretty big game changer for him. Does have a nice little surround going on right now, but the Death Knight able to work its way out of there. And he's picked up level two, and you know I, the the swords coming out is a big deal. But at the same time, as long as the unit counts, the army counts are still pretty small, and there's not a level three archmage. I think he can kind of fight it. Yeah, and it does look like WFC is winning the fight so far, and perhaps the militia uh, harassment actually hurt Captain a little more than we thought it did. I thought it hurt him quite a bit. I didn't. I didn't say anything because I thought that was. Uh, I thought everyone was on the same page as me mentally. But um... no, I thought Captain would uh, suck it up and, you know, just have his other ones work overtime. This is China of land of the uh, wow. over. <laughs> wow, the social commentary. <laughs> I was not expecting that. You should have been. I think. I should have been. I should have been. Uh, but really, I mean, if we're looking, okay, if we look at this game and we look at the overview of the game, we're going to say that the human player is kind of in a crappy spot here. Although, mainly because he doesn't have an expansion, he's not going to be able to get an expansion probably anytime soon. And also, he's not got a lot of XP. The undead player obviously has, you know, he's going to be tier three soon, very, very soon. He's out teched the human player, obviously. Uh, and if he can get destroyers, then he can kind of beat this this rifle cast army pretty easily, especially if he adds in a bomb. Dominations. So, and he's going to easily have level the level advantage, it looks like, unless this human player can actually manage to creep this out, which I don't I don't know if he can. Yeah, so if you are in WFZ shoes, are you going to hit as soon as that destroyer upgrade goes through, start moving over towards the base now, or are you trying to get that level 3 death knight before you hit? I would say, given how the last fight went, which was reasonably good uh, for WFZ, but at the same time, he kind of ran out of mana on his Death Knight and TP'd out because he was going to start not being able to heal his units up other than just having statue regen. I would say it would be a good idea to pick up level 3. Yep, and interestingly, it does not look like he has picked up that uh, TP on his Death Knight yet. Perhaps he's just waiting to go ahead and grab it from the market, but if he goes without one, there we go, he yeah. does pick it up now. I, I think what happened probably is he didn't have enough gold to buy the orb yeah. and the skeleton rod out there, and he was, since he was creeping the, the shop anyway. Although I don't You're know probably for sure. correct. I, didn't, I, I had didn't. not realized that was a goblin merchant since I've never seen this map before. <laughs> Fair enough. And the human was actually able to creep that out. Uh, credit to him. That looked kind of scary. Uh, and now he's going to keep on creeping down here. He's finally going to creep out an expansion. So he could potentially kind of get an expansion down there. But as he is being pushed right now, uh, I'm not sure that's actually going to happen. Yeah, and this is pretty much the worst time that he could be hit right now. 
he is going to go ahead and finish up the camp, it looks like. And we have the Dark Ranger third coming in for WFC, so perhaps it's too soon, but things are not looking good for Captain at the moment. Well, he's got some spellbreakers out, or at least one. He's sitting at another one out. Um, if he can just, I mean, if he can just kind of take these destroyers down early on, maybe he'll be okay. But level three gonna be picked up for the Death Knight as it takes down that Water Elemental, which was kind of a suicide. On it, I'm not sure why he really summoned it there, but and he's gonna go for the, the Crypt Fiend. He's got he's got a wand of mana stealing on the Mountain King, so he's gonna have plenty of mana to actually go ahead and get some bolts down. But he, he, I don't know if he doesn't. He doesn't. Oh, he's he's got some militia at his base. Yeah, and he does not seem to have a coherent strategy for what it is that he wants to do right now. I mean, I think you either have to try and focus on the units or focus on a hero to force a TP out. But he seems to be alternating back and forth between the two of them right now and does not look like it's working out very well. Although, um, okay, well, so so here's the thing, right? MKL is, I think, open to just about any player that wants to play in it. Uh, oh, really? I, th I think, I think, just judging by this game, uh, this human, just, just, just taking a guess here, I think we may have stumbled on one of those um, not so great series. Because <laughs> this human well, on the bright side, they're short. Uh, <laughs> well, if you want to watch the next, you know, the rest of the series, um, we can. But um, their best of three series. Yeah. Well, there's probably only one more game, so we might as well go ahead and do it. <laughs> All right. Well, there's, you're in mage. Um, I, I tried to get us out of this. Uh, if you're on YouTube.com slash SirPureB, we're going to go into the next video here in just a, or the next game here in the same video in just a couple seconds, so stay tuned. Um, if you're live on Twitch, we're going to go to a very short break. We'll be right back. Everyone, mage. You now you're mage. Now you say you're YouTube. <laughs> Uh, this is Mage. I'm a FFA Masters League admin, and I do casting for it. I can be found at youtube.com slash FFA Masters. You can follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash FFA Masters League. And as well as myself doing casting on there, you'll find great players like Soso, Magadansky, Renault, Persuade, uh, doing FFA streaming on the Twitch account. So if you want to go ahead and check that out at some point, please let us know. And thank you to Purby for having us on. Welcome to another Warcraft The Other Commentary. This is game number two for the MKL League match. Best of three between two players. Uh, let's introduce them in just a second. But first, we have to introduce a slightly more important person. Our co-caster. Hello, it's F-F-A-M-L-L-M-A-M-Mage. <laughs> uh, thank you, Pirby. This may be the first time you've actually ever called me more important than pretty much anybody else. So I'm honored that you've now considered that. Although, perhaps you're just trying to play nice for all the viewers. Uh, for those that did not understand a word of what Pierby said, which I'm assuming is most of you, my name is Mage. I am an admin for the Free For All Masters League, which is better known as FML, the unfortunate misnomer of Fuck My Life. Uh, mm. And I do streaming on Twitch.tv at Twitch.tv slash FFA Masters League. And then our YouTube is YouTube.com slash FFA Masters. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, for anyone who says I'm not good at sarcasm... <laughs> Uh, checkmate. Uh, so let's introduce our players. The map is Hidden Hope 1.2 or something. Uh, it's a wonderful map, but let's start with the green human. On the left side of the map, it's spawning in as Captain with a clock. <laughs> and on the right side of the map, we happen to have the red undead. He is the best player in the world for his race at the moment. It's WFZ. All I can say to that is I am personally going to write to uh, Fury and let him know that you've abandoned him. Listen. Because everybody knows that even though Fury no longer plays, he is still the best undead player in the world. And if you're a true fan of his, you'd think so too. Listen. Fury, ex Fury is not even a player. Fury is a god. Okay? So he's not in the running for the best player. Okay? The worst god is better than the best player. That's how that works, okay? Just just so we're clear, okay? Lucifer is also in there, okay? Lucifer's not a player. He plays, but he's not a player. He's a god, okay? I just, I just want to get that straight. There's other gods. They're not the only two. There's a whole pantheon. But I can talk about the players. 
Yeah, all I hear is excuses and backtalk and frankly look, abandonment. Look, let's look let's look at let's look at this map for a second. Uh, if you look above WFZ's base, you can see this necropolis, there's a ramp that goes up. Now you say, Oh, that's curious. There's ramps in, in Warcraft. Yeah, there's ramps in Warcraft. Uh, but not only is there ramps Oh holy shit, there's an in base expansion. What? Yes, there is an in base expansion on this map for every single player base. It's, a, I think, a four-player map. I think it would be an incredibly interesting FFA map, which is one of the reasons I wanted to... I was actually thinking about that as I was looking at it, yeah. Yeah, now also look at this. Um, you'll note pretty much every ex every way to get in or out of these main bases is ramps, and also then the only way that's not ramps uh, is these, these little rock things that you can't select, but guess what? You can destroy them by attacking them. So those are little choke points that be can become big choke points if you attack them. How cool is this map? I gotta admit, I'm impressed by the map. It is definitely uh, something else, and uh, I'll have to actually bring it up in the FFA Masters League, and we can give it a try. I mean, I'm sure some things will need to be tweaked, but it looks like a very intriguing map, set map setup. Um, I'm curious in solo, how often do a lot of these red camps get creeped? I mean, we can see WFC going ahead and harassing early on here. That could be because he thinks he's playing an inferior player, but... Uh, how often in solo do you see most of the map get crept up, actually? Well, I'll tell you what. Um, actually, I don't know, because we've not seen too many games on this map. The, there, th We've seen, I think, three games on this map. This will be the fourth one. The first game was with an Undead who did a fast expand with Fiends, which I think Undead's probably the only race that can really do a really fast in-base expansion, because that's a kind of a hard creep, but it's kind of easy if you have Fiends and Skeletons. I could be wrong. I don't. I, Ancient of War could probably do it as well pretty easily. Um, Militia would probably have a hard time because I think there's Frost Armor on that red camp. Uh, but Undead can do it. Uh, and he did a verse Elf, and the, and the game ended really quickly, so we didn't see a lot of, uh, past that. Uh, and the other two games was Orc vs. Elf, and those both went to like 30 minutes. Um, and we saw most of the map get crept out in both of those cases. So, But I, but I really don't know because I've not seen enough games. Well, I'd be interested to see another one after this since it looks like WFC is pretty uh, insistent on trying to end this game early one way or another. He certainly, he certainly looks like it. He's like, I, I, you know, he's like, people are watching this. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't, it's like, I like my name, but I don't need to keep it out there. Maybe he's uh, just embarrassed, typically. Oh, he slaughtered that poor penguin. I know. Can we uh, call Pete in to investigate right now? I've been considering it, actually. I've got their number on speed dial. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's becoming a big problem in the Warcraft 3 community now. It really is, and you know, I was there's one of these maps that actually has the cutest little bunny rabbits you've ever seen on them, just all over the map, and it's so cute, it's so cute. And 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 I was watching last night a YouTube video of an, a bunny just eating some greens for like 15 minutes, a close up of a bunny, and it just about broke my heart. It was so cute and adorable, and I've decided I just need to like you know go to P join PETA, and uh, we need to, we really need to jail all these bastards who keep killing the fucking critters. Yeah, I mean, they're mostly undead players, so I'm not sure uh, how effective it would be to keep them in jail, uh, seeing as how they're already dead. But maybe I... they'd uh, suffer from boredom. Listen, listen. I don't know what you're talking about. Sheeps, I, you can kill as many sheeps as you want, okay? I don't care. Lambs are a traditional food source for humans. It, the only reason we are here is because humans figured out that they could eat lambs. If it wasn't for the fact that we were eating our ancestors ate you know sheep like in mass then we would be dead we wouldn't even have ever been born so i'm all for killing lambs and sheep those those no problem kill those kill those all day but don't kill the bunnies don't kill the kittens don't kill the puppies that's that's what i'm about you do know that the plural of lamb is lamb right yeah but but it's not it's, lambs did i say lambs yeah like 18 times but uh, well you know what uh here's the thing i was so full of emotion i didn't notice that's fair enough i mean It'll be understandable if pretty soon you start calling them Baz. I would never call them Baz. That's that's actually disrespectful. Um, Is it? Do you speak sheep now? I, I I've dabbled. I always knew you were full of sheep. It's 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 actually, you know that that's offensive. I just I just want to say, so. So there you go. There you have it. A likely story. So should we actually uh, talk about what's going on in the game since we've almost hit Tier 3 for our Undead player? I have been watching vigilantly both players creep, um, but once again we're seeing the human player go for Rifle Caster at Tier 2. Uh, and so I don't know if he really thought about last game and how it went, 
but uh, he's going to try it again, and we'll see if anything different happens once the Undead hits Tier 3 with Double Slaughterhouse, who can easily go into, um, you know, Abominations and Destroyers, which kind of counters Rifle quite heavily. But, you know, I, I who knows? Who Anything could happen. I think you need my free-for-all coaching advice, which is what I figured out. If you're human, really all you have to do is build mass tanks and then just A-click them. So he should just go for mass tanks, send them to WFC's base, and... As good as WFZ is, it's hard to overcome the imbalance of mass tanks. If I could have censored you there, I would have. That is the kind of strategy we don't want to see any more of. <laughs> no more mass tanks! All right, it's falling out of style. It's not It's not in favor anymore. We want to keep it that way. Mass tanks actually is the devil. So I can agree with you on that. It's, it's really not fun to watch. It's not fun to play. It's not fun to play against. Don't do it. If you're... If you if you're a caring human player who's a human being who cares for other human players and human beings, you won't mass tanks. You know who uses mass tanks though? A lot like every top human player in the world. Oh no, I was actually just gonna say PETA. Oh. Well, you know, you know, actually, uh, I don't really think I need PETA. I think I can start my own organization for saving the lives of bunnies uh, and other adorable critters and mice and lab rats across the world with the, the backing and the seal of probably Obama's full support. Um, uh, and I think I can do that overnight. I think I can mobilize an army. I look forward to it. And, you know, while we have these 18 viewers online, we would just like to say that we really appreciate your support, and we would like to sign you up for our army. So if you'd like to go ahead and just send us out your uniform size, we'll go ahead and start uh, getting those made, and tomorrow we take over the world. And don't worry, uh, we will use purely uh, synthetic wool. We won't, we won't humiliate the sheep by shaving. We won't, we won't do that. We will make synthetic wool out of nylon fibers but and you know and it may sacrifice a little bit in fashion but the thing is it's worth it it's worth it because you don't want to humiliate can you imagine if someone came up to you and took your clothes off and then t tore them up and then turned them into their own clothes that were incredibly stylish can you imagine so can we uh, can we uh can we go ahead and mute this a little bit uh i'm gonna get wool right i didn't sign up for this and not get wool no you're not we're gonna use we're gonna use nylon no, nah, but that, that's for them. We're using wool for us, right? No, no, no. I know that. Don't tell them that. Well, they can didn't hear you mute us. It? I told you to mute it. Oh, no, I, oh, no, I wasn't. I thought you were talking about the game. Shit. <sighs> well, look. Oh, hey, look over here. We've got a WFC did a creep check, you know? Oh, uh, Red Drake. Everybody, summoned that everybody's halfway. paying attention to that, right? Holy shit. What a Drake. Uh, this fight is going to be amazing. Can you imagine? The Lich has been stunned level three. Holy shit. He's chasing the Mountain King. He's running away. He has an Ankh of Reincarnation, but one footman's gone down. That's a whole life killed. That's a, that's, that's a stub on a family tree. That is, that is GG. Yes, yeah, so I think they're well distracted here. And uh, the poor peasants right now. You know, this is just like the bombings of World War II. They need to go ahead and hide soon. Yeah, this, uh, well, I, you know, the problem is is that there's three he destroyers. He blocked himself out of the base. <laughs> and, yeah, well, he could send in the, the riflemen, but I'm going to be honest. There's only one rifleman, two riflemen, actually. Uh, and and I, it doesn't look like they're going to be able to stop this. I don't know. Those are very courageous riflemen. I think that if they uh, use their heart and soul, they really will be able to push back this, uh, attack for all of two seconds before they die a terrible death well you know at some point the red drake is going to be unsummoned and that looks like at that point is approaching rapidly which is doing a lot probably the majority of the damage here doing you know uh, i think it was like 50 damage piercing was the second attack i was mousing over the the air to air attack i believe but um clearly clearly what we happen to have here is just a sad state of affairs that sounds like it could be our new uh, documentary about the series, A Sad State of Affairs, the WFZ Captain Story. <laughs> the, the WFZ Captain Trilogy. We'll make it a three-parter. <laughs> Wait, there's another game from here? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. This is <laughs> You're violating the Geneva Convention right now, Pierby. I hope you know that. <laughs> I, I actually never uh, recognized Geneva's authority, so... Yeah, and they tried to sanction me, but it turns out if you grow your own vegetables, there's not much they can do, actually. It's all food <laughs> sanctions. And I'm like, look, I got carrots. 
And the thing, the great thing about carrots is you can just you can just pluck one out, and then replant it. And then when you pluck it out again, you're gonna get like three carrots out of it. So you can quickly True. grow a huge supply of carrots. They're pretty much magic, is what you're saying. I'm saying you know that's just the carrots. The carrots reproduce more carrots, and then you can eat the old carrot. That sounds like incest somehow. No, that's that's plant cest. <laughs> oh, my bad. Yeah. Gotcha. So do you think that uh, Captain realizes right now he is losing to three destroyers? Well, I'm pretty sure he's aware of it, but, uh, you know, what's he going to do about it is the question. This is one of those reasons that you will see players go workshop, and he's got two workshops, but he doesn't quite have enough supply here. He's sitting at 60. He's building the farm up. Once he can start getting a couple of these flying machines out, then he'll actually be able to kind of force that back and we will see that wfc has taken the expansion he's taking the end base expansion everything's going pretty good he's tier three ma making those abominations now getting the disease cloud upgrade which is all pretty good um so he's also managed to creep pretty much half of the map by himself he's sitting at uh four four sitting pretty now he has that spiked collar as well he's got six and, wand um, of illusions <laughs> i wish we could see what was in the marketplace right now because if he could find a staff of silence in there, that would be incredibly <laughs> helpful. But he got a potion of divinity instead. Whatever, whatever. Apparently, he's decided he's got plenty of gold. He doesn't need to save it for anything. <laughs> like just, yeah, I've got a couple thousand. It's good. I don't know. Oh look, and another red drake summoned from the marketplace. <laughs> Holy crap! Well, there you go. Um, the fight once again is real, and the struggle for Captain is just going to be to stay alive and survive this next incursion of the undead scourge will he manage i uh, you know what we, can we I don't take my know bet first sure i think it's gonna be a no <laughs> I'll, you know I'll, I'll play devil's advocate and i'll say he's gonna survive well you're For about uh... 10 seconds oh okay <laughs> so, I, mean, I mean there's 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 that <clears throat> uh. look the abominations are multiplying the abominations are actually abominations <laughs> they are just a heresy Oh, is is oh we gonna see a loss here? Is is no the Death Knights is gonna live? Uh, did he pop that potion of divinity? Yeah, he did. He did. Mountain King died, but he's got the reincarnation, so he's coming back. I believe the Mountain King has a potion of divinity on itself as well. Oh, he does. Where did he get that from? Uh, from the red camp he creeped in his expansion. Is that yeah. bad luck from the Mountain King that he got mana burned right before he popped the potion of invulnerability? I mean, <laughs> so now well. he's allowed to run over, but can't kill anything. <laughs> well. Can I just say, he lasted 15 minutes versus the best undead player in the world. That's 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 appreciable. It is, and I don't want to take anything away from him. However, I think at least five of those minutes were spent from WFC having to cross the map since he spawned completely across from him. I mean, you said you weren't going to take anything away from him, and then you just shot all over us. That's, that's just... Well, no, if, if I was really going to shit all over him, I would point out that he lost the game to three destroyers, pretty much. Well, you know what? Look, that was that series. Um, that was pretty awful. I'm, not, I, I'm willing to admit that was not a great series. Uh, but, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's Mage. <laughs> Thank you, Pierby. Uh, as I mentioned before, I am an admin and caster for the Free For All Masters League. You can find us at twitch.tv slash FFA Masters League, and you can find a bunch of recorded stuff, including some epic length uh, free-for-all commentary done with Pureby himself at youtube.com slash FFA Masters. Uh, it's got stuff like Pro Free-for-all, where we get to watch Fury lose over and over and over again, There's and Pureby manages to incite World War III. Pureby's also in denial. Thanks for watching!